Well, hey there, guys. It's Josh here with Off Kilter Syndicate again. This time with a new face. How's it going, everybody? This here is Nerdy Coach, or Dan Coach, buddy of mine. He uh, decided to come give me a hand with this. We're, we're going to do an unboxing. Sure. See how that goes. Doing a bit of a crossover edition here. <laughs> yeah, this, he's got a. He's doing some YouTube stuff too. You can catch him on Nerdy Couch, no space, just put Nerdy and then Couch together. Search that and you'll find Dan. I'll also link it down below because that's what the YouTube And I'll say. try to throw this on my channel as well uh, so you guys can catch this on the replay at my channel as well. That's right. So what we got is a GoPro. The GoPro Hero 7 Black. Are we going to be unboxing this, this bad we boy? We are. And... Uh, I'm told when you unbox things, you're supposed to use a good knife. You're not supposed to use scissors, I guess, and that kind of now stuff. Now, what kind of knife people... would you use, then? Well, they say, you know, higher-end knives. People like to see them, right? So I've got this one here. Um, it is a Benchmade. It's very sharp. It's nice. Uh, I forget what model this is, this one. I don't know how to hold knives. but That's the Model 3. That's... Yeah, I don't know. But I, it's, that's, I'm making that up. It's a very nice knife. I like it. Uh, but we actually got a friend of ours, mutual friend of ours, is very into knives. Real real nice guy. You might see him. Well, you will see him. That's Derek. Uh, he recommended this. This is a grail knife of uh, his, he says, like a, a holy grail. One of the his. nicest knives I've ever seen. Yeah, so this is the Strider. Oh, it's backwards, of course. This is the... It's back. Is it backwards again? Yeah. Well, anyways, this is the Strider SMF <laughs> here. Um, I guess it's... Uh, I don't know, seem why he's what, so interested. What grade it, plastic is that? It says it's S30V. Well, that's on beautiful. There. S, S30V when it focus. Let's see, let's see if we can get it to focus. I've seen people put their hand behind behind it. Behind like that? Well, anyways, it's all, S30V. It's all lies. Yeah. So it's all lies. We're going to use this top quality high-end knife to open this GoPro Black here and give you guys a look. We, Me and Dan, we don't know too much about this kind of uh, stuff. but Speak for yourself. I'm we like opening with, toys. I, I know everything about this. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's a lie. Um, this is... I got to say, this Strider's already taken some points away for bending. It's... It bend as it went into the plastic. I feel like our friend Derek has lied to us a bit about the quality of the knife. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if this is a whole holy grail knife for him, I'll just give him this knife because I feel like his standards are yeah, look at this. You know, untrustworthy. Quality control at Strider is not so great. So there it is. There. I don't. I guess there's a certain. Oh, here we go. So they've got a tab at the bottom there. You're supposed to rip that tab and. That will make it slide out, I believe. You've done this before, haven't you? Like, no, this is my first GoPro. No, you're a pro. You're you're a GoPro yourself. Oh, I'm going pro. Oh, there we go. So there's the GoPro. It's already attached. Uh, what edition is that? This is the 7 Black. So it's the latest model. And what's some of the specs on it there? We got 12 megapixel photos, 4K60, and I guess the 4K60 on this is got their new hyper smooth. So they call it a gimbal killer. No, it's, it's not. Touch a, screen, not GPS. Killer. It's basically fully loaded. It's like the platinum model kind of thing. So that's that. Let's. What else do we get in the box here? We got a nice little manual. That's what it says we get on it right here if you want to. Oh, yeah, that's that's what you get. Not too much, but, you know, these things have been out for a while now. I'm assuming you get the common, common yeah, stuff. I think, I think the it all shares from the 5 to the 7 now. All that stuff you can use together. So we got a really nice USB-C. Uh, nice thick uh, there, so it's good quality. You get one battery. What are the milliamps on these? Take a look if I can find it. Yeah, I can't find it right now. So we'll just say it's about that many. 
You get two of their things. One's flat and one's curved. And those are mounting plates, are they? Yeah. Most people use that on their helmet, and that one you could use on anything flat. That's cool. Obviously. And then we got empty. <laughs> we empty got empty. box here. So that's the main Gar piece garbage. we, we want to get at right there. And it's got a nice, you just flip that open there. That opens like that, and then push it out. You got a sweet turtle on the protecting the screen right that's now. That's all for you us. can see at all points in time is a turtle. Yeah. Um, just always filming the turtle. The turtles are very popular in uh, sure outdoors. That. People like hearing the plastic too, so let's. Things. let's... Oh. Is, that, is that what it's all about now? That's what it's all about. That's some. The ASMR, AW. I'm gonna keep that turtle. We're gonna MP3. display that turtle. So. Again, these the great thing about these is uh, you get the screen now on the back, and this itself is waterproof. You don't have to put it in a case. We're going to use a case, though, on this because the mud and all that stuff, but it's really all neat. That just gunk, you don't want to get inside of it. Slide that open. That's where the battery goes. And right here is where you charge it, and you get an HDMI. Uh, cable thing in there, not that we'll ever use it. Technical term. Yeah, but the, and all what's neat too is if you want to use this for vlogging, all that stuff, you just pull that door off and you can plug in the accessories there. They make some really cool mounts now for these. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what else to really say about this. Uh, we got another camera here we want to show you, which is actually the camera we're filming on right now. Uh, we both own this camera. Yes. So very recent new newer camera. Yeah, this is uh this is actual Dan's. We're filming on mine right now. Uh you wanna open that up, Dan? So right here we've got the Oh I'm sorry. Do you need this? Oh just, you know what I don't wanna yeah. I don't trust myself with such a quality and precision tool. Oh okay, yeah. So I'll just be using got my God given got tools. Okay. Um so here we've got the DJI um gimbal camera called the What's it called again? Osmo Pocket. It's called the Osmo Pocket. Yeah. And that's a close up of that right right quick. I'll uh, I'm gonna let Josh take this away. I don't know too much about the cameras. <laughs> I just use it. I enjoy this camera. So yeah, this is their brand new camera. They they're kind of putting this up against GoPro. Um It's basically the gimbal and camera from one of their drones, and they stuck it in this into this little form factor. So it's a little screen here, um, and it's really nice. You can hold it like this. It's not you know too in your face. You know you get a got a nice little you get screen. a phone up in someone's face, and it's kind of like that. Wow, that's intrusive. Yeah, but it, this thing here, Dan's like, oh, I don't even notice. My goodness, I feel so comfortable there. with this. Yeah. Um, it's, it's got, got a handy little screen on it, so you don't need the phone with it. Yeah. So this thing here. So let's turn it on and show you. Oh dear. Isn't that neat? Every time you turn it on, it does that. So you can see when I'm, well, uh, there's different modes, obviously. So if we flip yeah, there. Don't make us a liar the, about this. The thing. screen here. So there's the screen. That's, there's me and Dan. You can wave. Wave Dan. Do you know what size that screen is? It's Inception, actually, if you think about it, because we're filming on one of these. And then, yeah, it's, I mean, we got one of these. You're messing with well. things that, uh, you so, know, you are messing with things we can't control now. I know. So you got some cool modes. So the, the one mode that's kind of neat is this uh, tilt lock. So you can see there, I move around, camera stays, stays put. So stays this is locked in motion. This is the, this is really nice. And also it's got the follow modes. So on this thing, on follow mode, I could double tap Dan here. And now it's tracking his face. Right? It's gonna track his face, and I can basically move around, and Dan can move around. And you can see that now, it follows Now, at no point do you have to worry about yourself being in frame. Yeah, even when, uh, if you're using this to vlog, 
and you uh, do the flip, you flip it around, it actually auto locks onto your face. So you don't have to think about where the camera's positioned. You can move around and, and this thing follows you. It's, it is a very neat camera. Really Just, handy if you're doing a lot of uh, work while you're, where you need to move around and well, pay attention to things. Like everybody, we, we watch YouTube videos. Dan watches YouTube videos. I, do, I watch YouTube more than anything. Uh, yeah, like uh, the one thing that's a killer is one quality. So you want really good quality. Um, and with 4K video. Uh, 4K 60 on this. Like he said. frames. You're looking at some pretty good video there. Yeah, and also on top of that, it's stable. It's not digital. It's a mechanical stabilization, obviously. And I've wa seen some videos, and it was so shaky that, to me, it was unwatchable. It, it's off-putting, and uh, I think you're looking at good video, and you're looking at good audio, and either of them will turn a person away from a YouTube channel. Uh, I totally agree. And, I mean, the, uh, the reason why we didn't get this uh, mostly was um, the fisheye lens. Now, we're told that you can take that out in editing but it takes an extra step right yeah that's an extra step that you don't really go through to it. so the reason why we're unboxing this today though is what we didn't what i didn't think about for this so mounting this to my machine i can the, the, the you can buy mounts that use all the gopro accessories for this camera but when you mount it into a spot you've got to make sure that this gimbal stays pointed where you wanted it where this is a fixed position. Once you put it there, it's going to stay there. So I could use this. It's but that's an extra step now. I got to do mounting this to my side by side. Or mounting this. So I ended up buying one of these anyhow. Plus, this isn't waterproof. How it's, does the stabilization do for that? Things are that quick and that uh, you know. I'm assuming on a side by your. Yeah, like they they said that this was going to be a GoPro killer or sorry, a gimbal killer. It is not a gimbal killer. This all day long is better. Now, I'm going to try and get some footage on this to put in this video uh with the GoPro um hopefully this weekend and you'll and I'll put it up against some of this and you can kind of see This is very good because now they've got accelerometers and gyroscopes and all that fancy stuff in here. Crazy words. Yeah, so I'm a nerd. So this thing actually doesn't like most of the time electronic stabilization takes the video that you filmed and then to stabilize it, they just they 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 cut off the sides. So it only gives you the middle. And that's how it makes it stable. Where well, you're, this you're cutting off picture is what yeah. you're doing. Yeah, you're not getting the whole story. Exactly. So, so this one uses the gyroscopes, and it can act. It, it's kind of like reading the future, because it's 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 saying, okay, Dear this guy Lord, is going. Does to go. that have a flux capacitor in it? I mean, it's pretty small. I don't know where they've come a long way with the flux capacitor. Yeah, I friend. guess it could. It could. But anyhow, so yeah, so for what Dan does, this was like perfect for him. It fits in your pocket. Throw yeah. it in. Um, the reason why. I picked it is because I'm doing a lot of stationary stuff and when I am moving I'm gonna be going to cons and stuff like that and I'm gonna be going to toy shows and hobby shows and to be able to track my face have my camera in front of me talk to people and not worry about being in frame that's what I need and uh, I think it's just gonna be ideal for for my situation mm -hmm. now I'm not on a, on, on a machine I don't know if you can tell by my physique <laughs> but I am not an, an outdoorsy kind of guy. I stay in, I read books, and I show books, and I talk about books. And uh, for me, it's it's exceeding what I needed to do. Oh, yeah. Um, for you guys, you guys require a lot more from these from these cameras. Yeah, well, that's, that's why basically we had to get the GoPro. And I have a cheaper GoPro uh, knockoff. It was just awful. 
uh, video quality. It was not worth the time and effort to mount it and record it and grab the video off the SD card and that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, our friend Derek, uh, he has a Hero 5. We took some footage with that, and it was very, yeah, it's, very it's, good. It's, it's super nice video. Yeah, so... And he managed to take the fisheye off of it, I believe, right? I think. I don't know what he did, actually. I don't know if he did anything. No, he doesn't do much. But in the program we use, I've seen where it says take the fisheye out, but, so we'll see. I mean, the fisheye comes in handy for when I'm doing the... Well, when I'm recording the rides, uh, you get more view there, but... For vlogging and all that stuff, the fisheye. I just is, think the fisheye is, is uh, awkward. Is it's it's I think it's ugly when you're when you're doing a vlog style. Yeah. Um, and I mean that's not to, to diss anybody that uses it um, to each their own. I just think that it looks a little unclean. Well, now now that the, like this only came out in December, so it it's just really it's it's a fifty dollar technically fifty if these are not on sale, this is fifty dollars cheaper than this. And it's worth every penny, in my um, opinion. Could we take a minute to talk about the uh, the audio on, on these uh, cameras? Yeah, right now we're using the audio from the Osmo. This is the onboard audio. It, uh, it's got two mics, one on the front, one on the back. So depending on which way the camera's faced, it tends to favor. That camera do its best, like any onboard mic, wind, all that will grab it. I guess, I haven't tested the GoPro yet. I guess they've done a lot of work on the audio on these. Um, they both have options for external audio though, correct? But, yes, but both need an adapter. And they're not cheap. No, so this is, I actually have the adapter for the DJI. It's right here, it's this little thing. Problem with that is if it's plugged into the bottom. You lose your charging ability. You, you lose your charging, yeah. yeah. Um, so it does have its problems. Uh, has its quirks. But all in all, I still enjoy the camera. Yeah. It's, it's it exceeds my needs. Yeah, it's just. I mean, really I went nice. from using. It was nice enough. We wanted to sit down today and tell you. Yeah, about it. I went from using a cell phone to this, and I'm. I mean, it's a world's difference. Yeah. Oh, and we didn't even show you that it comes with these uh, little adapters. It slips off the front there like that, and then you put it in. It has one for like this iPhone and Android. And Android, and then you plug your phone in, like that. Now you've got stabilized video and a big screen on your phone and you can fully con uh, control the gimbal from yeah it opens up your options options like crazy yeah um having the small screen having it so small to begin with uh it, it, it really opens up a lot of opportunity to get close and personal with people but so having the screen is amazing i'm moving it with the the phone right now you can do that you can draw boxes so if i where's dan let's see let's see let's let's point it at him how do i do this anyways you draw a box like that Failing, man. yeah we're horrible draw a box like that then it will create a box on the screen there and it will follow that box. So you this can basically follow. professional YouTube at its best. Yeah, so you can follow anything. Anything you want. Your kid's playing. Set this thing up on a tripod. And you can go out and throw a ball with your kid. And it will follow you guys and what um, you're doing. Picture-wise, it'll take full panoramic uh, mm -hmm. just by setting it and sitting it, setting it down. It's really neat. Yeah, like that's the one thing this can't do, right? Yeah. So with the gimbal, because it, it moves... You can, there's two different panoramic things. There's the normal panoramic, and this thing, you just hold it still. Or set it down somewhere. Yep, and this thing will do its thing. Or it does a really cool one where it takes nine shots. It goes up in the upper corner, one, two, three, and then goes in the middle, one, two, three, and then the bottom, one, two, three. Stitches them all together in, in here and gives you one giant photo. It's super cool. I don't know if, if it really uh, appeals to my needs or not. But uh, it's just I'll use it extra. from time to time. It's I'll use it's it just because I can. Extra flavoring that you know, like. Um, it has um, built-in slow motion. Mm -hmm. It has uh, time lapse. Um, you can do moving time lapses with this without having to buy an extra. Like uh, you can buy things that move the camera through time yeah. lapse. This this will move on its own. It has a story mode in it as well, which uh, I've never really played with, but I've heard it's. Yeah, I haven't used it yet. I don't know that I'll use it much, but uh, 
you know, it's there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that really comes with a nice, uh, nice little hard case. Yeah, it comes with that, and there's tons there's more really neat accessories. Tons of accessories for, coming for it. Um, they're not always uh, they're not always cheap, mm -hmm. but, but uh, you're, what is? <laughs> their DJI really makes their stuff well. It's high end. I I I, I uh, compare it to Apple. I don't like Apple, but. <laughs> Uh, their build, I'm an Android man, Apple's so. build quality and all that is always top of the line, and that's kind of what DJI is. Their their build quality and their R and D is just really nice. But and they also build things. They build their equipment to use their own equipment. Yeah, you're right. Just like Apple does. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's 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 really cool. So. Yeah, we just wanted to tell you about this and kind of do an unboxing, test out that, see what you guys think. Uh, again, if you want to see more of Nerdy Couch. Yeah, you can catch me at uh, Nerdy Couch, no spaces, on YouTube. And if you want to catch me on Instagram, it's um, at Nerdy Couch at Instagram. Uh, I don't use it too much, but I plan to very soon. Uh, you can catch me every Sunday. I put out a video. And more often than not, I'll get one out through the week as well. So catch yeah. me if you like me there. I do a lot of comic book and hobby stuff. Um, and I'm sure he's going to tag along for some rides. I'll definitely be tagging on some rides. And it'll probably be hilarious because I have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, get me outside. We'll get, a, we'll get a muddy. Get me outside and just see how it goes, I think. Yeah. and I'm going to read a comic book on... On the machine. On the machine, yeah. see how all that goes. See how well, oh yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> no, it's kind of silly, Dan. I'm a silly guy. Yeah, well. Anyway, have you guys got anything coming up? I mean, again, we uh, bought this for the Hatfield trip coming up that we keep mentioning. We're two months away. Springtime's going to be a big thing for you guys. Yeah, that, right now there's no riding in Canada for us, really. Because um, even when it starts getting nice like it was today, it's too wet. They don't allow us to get out there because it ends up ripping out the trails too soon. So we got to kind of wait. May's usually when we can get out. We're going to try and do some, maybe get out once before Hatfield, but Hatfield will probably be the first ride. And that's going to be a lot of footage spread out over the summer. And we've got camping in Perry Sound and that. So you can look forward to seeing videos from that. And I think that does it. Yeah, that's all for me. So again, so this is Nerdy Couch signing off. Josh from Off Kilter. And we'll catch you on the next vid.